Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a little haul of Kangle hats that I picked up from Culture Kings. Yeah, this is probably quite different from what I normally pick up, isn't it guys? But uh, yeah, so... The reason on why I bought a couple of Kangle hats from Culture King is because for the longest time I've been wanting to expand areas of my wardrobe where I think I have been lacking in. Like I've got enough jeans and pants to last me forever. I've got enough jackets and other pieces up there as you can see to last me forever. But about a year ago, I highlighted five areas of my wardrobe that I think is lacking. So, you know, I came out and was completely honest with you guys and talked about areas that I think my wardrobe is lacking. Um, one of the er areas that I mentioned was my, uh, my, my footwear. It was very focused with sneakers and Jordans and things like that. And I'm trying to broaden my, uh, my footwear horizons with buying boots and, you know, whatever boots I can buy at a US, you know, 16 slash 17. One of the other areas that I mentioned was headwear, as at the time I only had hats and beanies. Now, since then, since that video, uh, I have obviously expanded my roster of hats that I have for my wardrobe. Um, I'll, very recently, I unboxed that lack of color brimmed hat over there, and just buying that different hat silhouette and playing around with that has opened up so many more outfit ideas for me and has been the icing on the cake for a lot of outfits that I created once before um, that I thought, wow, like the possibilities that I've opened up by just having that wide brim hat. I wonder what other possibilities I can op open up in my outfits and in my wardrobe if I pick up more hat silhouettes. And that's basically the whole reason I picked up these Kangle hats today. I picked up the Kangle Wool 504 cap in the black. That's their uh, very iconic cap slash beret looking hat. Most famously worn by, I would say, Samuel L. Jackson, but you could probably find other celebrities that were very keen on it as well. I just, he's my go-to and he's the one that I think of first when I think of someone who wore that iconic cap all the time. Uh, and then I've picked up their beret as well in a black. So I've picked up the Wool 504 cap in a 2XL. The beret is apparently a one size fits all. I don't know if it's going to fit this huge 62 centimeter head, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll find out together. <laughs> so that'll be an interesting experience. But um, yeah, like those two hat silhouettes are very different from what I now currently own. And I'm excited to one, unbox them, try them on and showcase them to you. And then also throw together some outfits in today's video in how I would try and, you know, wear them and whatnot. I'm really keen to do that as well. Um, I picked them up from Culture Kings instead of the Kangle website because from what I know the Kangle website is, in a, is a US site. I don't want to pay US shipping and you know Culture Kings Australia is in Australia. It was $5 shipping, there was discounts galore, like it, it was just so much more convenient for me to buy from them. In all honesty though, Culture Kings is very limited in their colours of the 504 wool cap. I was quite lucky that I just wanted the black, but um, if I want any other more exotic colours, I probably would have to go to the Kangle online store to be able to pick up any of the other exotic colours. But I bought both the hats in a black because I wanted the most versatile colour that would work with my wardrobe. So. If these hats work well and I do really enjoy them, maybe down the line I'll buy other colors of both of these hats. We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. But now that I've kind of explained like why I bought them, where I bought them from, everything like that, let's get into it. Let's unbox these and see how these hats turn out. So let's get into it. Let's pull open this bag. I mean, that's the great thing about these kind of bags is that they are, you can just rip them open. You don't need any scissors. You don't need anything like that. Let's get into it. So, pull out both of these hats here. Get them both out. So, that seems to be everything. Yep, cool. Chuck the bag over there. So, to start off with, we have the Kangle Beret. 
as you can see here, it looks like a wool pancake because <laughs> it doesn't have a head in it right now. Uh, it's got a little Kangle logo just there, as we can see there. You've got that woolen texture to it. You've got, oh, I'll try and flip that around so you guys can read it. Uh, that is the name of the hat, the Wool Mod Lane. The original Kangle, uh, what does it say? Designed in Great Britain, created in 1938. So it's been around the block. It's been around a few times. Um, it does have, okay. It does have, tag. I think I'm actually gonna have to get some scissors then in this scenario. Okay, so then we've also got, here it is here. Another woolen pancake. Slightly different design though. Uh, what we have is, as I mentioned, the 504. And quite nicely, it has that showcased in the wool 504 that iconic design and if I like pop it out a little bit there we go you can see little boy chilling there angle kangaroo uh, which yeah UK brand but as an Australian I'm quite happy to have a hat that has a little uh, kangaroo fella right here <laughs> yeah very nice okay well now that that's given some volume there yeah okay I'm gonna have to reassess I'm gonna have to get some scissors to cut off those tags I was so confident when I just got a bag I was like oh we'll be able to wear it now I'll have to cut those tags off and then we can get into it we fixed it up we've got rid of the tags now they're all oh, geez they're all sorted there so yeah as mentioned, I bought the 504 cap in a 2XL, which apparently is my size and is also the biggest size. So if a 2XL doesn't fit me, well, there we go. That's the end of my Kangle journey, isn't it? I'll put this one on uh, front. Okay, but actually fits right away. And I, all my concerns are now out the window. It's quite comfortably. I've got quite a bit of room there. It is the silhouette. Okay, casing it side on. There we go there. This is probably not how I'm going to be wearing it though. Much like my traditional baseball caps and whatnot, I don't generally wear them with the front facing this way. I am more of a backwards kind of guy. So I think I would be wearing it something like this. Yeah, this is already way more how I, I would actually wear this. Yeah, looking at, at it side on, this is the type of thing that I kind of want to go for. And how I envision how I'm going to wear this, um, I'm going to wear a black turtleneck, just like a nice underlayer, French coat over the top, something like this. Um, the outfit itself, the emphasis on the outfit is going to be the jacket. The jacket is going to be the show stopping piece, but I wanted just a nice hat that would go along with it. And I noticed there's um, bits of wool that are sticking out. I don't want that to happen. I want to Keep it in there okay yep anyway as i was saying that's how i kind of like envisioned the outfit um with this just like complementing the rest of the undergarments that go under this like big show-stopping jacket uh yeah i, I didn't want anything i didn't want this hat to be anything more than just like like i was talking about and how i described the brimmed hat just like icing on the cake just a nice little accessory to go along with it so that's why i went with the black color and why i was quite happy to go with it and I think it's quite nice. I quite like the cap. Um, it's going to be a very different silhouette to what I obviously normally wear because obviously I'm, I'm wearing caps and wide brim hats now. So it'll be fun to play around with the silhouette and I'm keen to break out pieces of my wardrobe here and also bring in some of my trench coats from outside of this room. Kind of, you know, go along with that. That'll be exciting stuff. So there we go there. That's that first one showcased. Now this will be interesting. One size fits all. I'm always very, very hesitant for one size fits all is actually going to be a one size fits all, but I'll go along with it if they say so. Okay. So we'll have a look at the beret. I'll see how we wear this one. The Kangle logo is facing this way. So I assume I just, where we place it? Is it, is it literally just like meant to sit on top? No, it can't be. That looks ridiculous. Is it meant to? I mean, maybe it is just small. I'm gonna have to look into how to actually wear it. Because if anything, it's meant to probably come down a little bit. Nah, it looks a bit way too ridiculous, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna have to see how to wear an actual spray because it's gonna be very different sweat for me. And if it's actually gonna fit or not. Oh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. 
Although it still looks a bit too shower cappy. Alright, I'm gonna have to... Oh. No, it still looks very shower cappy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out and also look in the mirror and see how it kind of looks. It's not, there's not enough fabric, I think, is that the issue? Okay, that actually feels like it fits a lot better now. But it still looks a bit warped and weird around the sides. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna have to figure this one and then come back to it. See if I can try and get it to work. Cause at the moment, the beret's not working too well. But all in all, I gotta say, the 504 cap, I'm really happy with this and I can see myself rocking this in a bunch of outfits uh, moving forward. I will play around with the beret and see how it kind of looks on hand and see how it's meant to kind of fit and look. And I'll take it from there and see how we go with that one. But um, I'll be right back and see if I can get that arranged. Okay, I applied a bit of logic to it and I said to myself, well, if the 504, that's the back, that's the front, angle logos on the back. Logically, the Kangol logo on this beret has to be on the back. That's how I've kind of played it. And now it sits a lot better on my head. But it is literally, it is, it's tight, but it's not uncomfortably tight. But I think it needs to be tight because there is no tightening mechanism. So it literally has to like engulf your head. But I kind of like the silhouette. Like this is, I'm not as sold on the beret as I am on the 504 cap. I think the 504 cap is definitely still the go. For me um but i could like i could still wear this still like come up with things i could come up with i could use go with leather i'd have to look into it yeah no it's like this is exactly what i'm talking about where i'll explore how far i can go with my wardrobe with these hats and see if there's any outfits that i can put together with these hats which one am i liking more so at the moment without putting any outfits together as I'm expressing, I think it's the 504, the iconic like Samuel L. Jackson um, cap right here. But maybe there is some like outfits I can put together with some undercover pieces and see how that kind of looks. This is this is where the fun part, at least for me, is. <laughs> Let's get into like putting some outfits together, and we'll see which one out of the two I can kind of work out better with my wardrobe. Now, unfortunately, guys, while I was editing this video, I realized the audio kind of corrupted on me. So I'm kind of just dubbing over me showcasing to you guys how my winter outfits uh, look and where like they're being pushed now that I've bought these hats. So uh, as I kind of showcased, my basic winter outfit consists of black leather jeans, a black turtleneck, and then throwing a trench coat over the top of it if it's cold enough or some uh, just some normal jackets as well, which I'll showcase shortly. And what I really wanted to highlight here while showcasing these outfits that I've kind of chopped up the footage of is that these outfits are now elevated more with these two hats that I've purchased. And it, these outfits look a lot better with these hats being added to them. Uh, and I think it actually takes away from the outfit by removing the hat and not having the hat included in the outfit. So I just wanted to express how happy I am now having these hats in my wardrobe because I really think it elevates these simple little outfits that I'm putting together for winter and I think it really adds to it. Also just having that variation of being able to try all these different hat silhouettes with these like same outfits has been a lot of fun and has opened up a lot of pathways for me where I can like explore and try things out. Now I've showcased the trench coats to you, the kind of winter outfits I'd wear now with these hats. What I want to showcase to you is kind of the just the other versions of my winter outfits where I would wear it with just jackets instead of trench coats and that'll be coming up just next. Okay, now showcasing essentially the other variation of my winter outfits. Instead of trench coats, I'm simply just replacing the outer layer on my uh, base outfit layer uh, with a jacket now and trying it with the various hats that I've bought. Now we can see I've tried the beret, uh, sorry, the flat cap frontwards and backwards to see which one works out the best. But I really, like I was saying about the trench coat outfits, 
I really feel that the outfits are now elevated more with these hat silhouettes um, being tried on and being showcased here. Like I genuinely feel like the outfit's more of a downgrade as soon as I take these hats off. So again, summarizing it, that is the point that I really wanted to showcase here is that these purchases have really benefited my wardrobe already because the winter outfits that I had planned are now being elevated a lot more with them. And I feel like that both of them work uh, with these outfits I had planned for winter. I feel like both the beret and the flat cap work and I feel like they're quite interchangeable and I feel the same way with the brimmed hat that I bought from Lack of Colour as well. It's all kind of just interchangeable as I'm showcasing here and it all kind of just works. Uh, I really love it and the, yeah, going back to the main point, I think these outfits work a lot better with the hats and I'm really really happy that I picked up all these hats and it's really expanded my, my wardrobe in that way. Wanna hit, what I want to hear from you guys is which hat works with the best uh, works the best for each of these outfits? Is it the beret? Is it the flat cap? Or is it the wide brimmed hat that I also have? I'd love to hear down in that comment section below. And that's them all unboxed, guys. Um, very happy, as I've expressed probably ten bajillion times now. Uh, very happy to have both of these silhouettes uh, now in my wardrobe. Now um, I'm able to play around with a lot more different hat types. Um, I think they're all going to complement the outfits that I just showcased to you guys that I wanted to create with them. So I think all in all, it's a really good experience that I bought both of these and it definitely opens up, um, yeah, my, my wardrobe to new hat silhouettes. Um, it's been, it's going to be interesting rocking it around the streets. I don't see many young people rocking uh, flat caps or berets, um, especially dudes with berets. Um, probably because, uh, well, in all honesty, Australian winter is just like, let's throw on a puffer jacket and call it a day. <laughs> and I think it can be a lot more exciting than that. I think Australians aren't too exciting with their winter wardrobe, but, um, yeah, getting back to it, I feel like this will give me some good experimentation in my wardrobe and open up a couple more avenues to different hat silhouettes that I want to try. Um, if I like the beret enough, I think I might go hunting for a slightly better, uh, made one or... Maybe made isn't the right word to use, but a slightly bit of fitting one because the one size fits all is a bit tight on me and I feel like it does get a bit warped with how it looks on my head because I'm like quite a large size. It's size 62 centimeters, you know, around my around my head. Um, I feel like if I went hunting for a, um, a better fitting beret, maybe it might encourage me to wear it more. But at the moment, really loving the flat cap because that one fits very comfortably. Um, that is a 2XL which is uh, 61 to 63 centimeters, so that fits quite well. Um, that's not to say I won't be wearing the beret at all, but I just think that the sizing being a bit tight is a bit of a deterrent uh, at the moment, but hopefully I can either get used to it or change it up. But all in all, for you know, a very discounted price of around like 60 to 70 bucks each, like I'm quite happy with picking both of these up and being able to explore different outfit styles with these. So all in all, a good experience from Culture Kings. Um, to give you guys a rundown of the whole experience as well, I ordered it around four days later, it was shipped, and then in three days it got to my door. It says it takes around four to 10 days, and unfortunately it was a bit more of the 10 day mark there, or closer to the 10 day mark, but I ain't complaining, that, that, that's fine. Uh, no dramas about that one. Definitely will be ordering from them again if they've got more Kangle options. I don't know about their other stuff if I'll be picking that up, but yeah, no, all in all, very happy with it. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on either of the two, and if you're kind of looking to do the exact same thing, where you dive into different hat silhouettes uh, for your outfits and stuff, is it a yes from you or a no from you? Are you going to be trying that out, or are you just going to be sticking with what most dudes stick with, which is beanies and caps which is totally fine i just think i needed to like branch out a little bit but uh yeah let me know if you're going to be rocking them or not if you're looking to pick them up or if you actually rock them now down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want me to keep showcasing uh what i've unboxed on the channel what i'm picking up etc etc just got to give me the three indicators i'm always asking you for which is a like on this video a comment in that comment section down below the best indicator of them all if you haven't already subscribe to the channel uh, as mentioned in previous uploads we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3650 subs for the end of june hopefully with your guys continuous support we can reach 3650 before the end month 
But that's everything I've got to say about them, guys. I'm definitely going to be wearing these to work moving forward, and it has just started winter in Australia, so I think my head will definitely benefit from some nice wool hats to, uh, you know, protect me from the Australian winter, even though it's not as cold as, like, the Northern Hemisphere winter, but... It still, it still gets pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, very keen to rock all these guys. I'm very happy with what I got. And if they are on sale and they come in different colours, I might explore different colours that, uh, that they come in as well. Maybe a nice classic crimson red one or a brown uh, flat cap would go nicely with a lot of the outfits that I have. But uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about them, guys. So until the next angle video, until the next boxing video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, I'll catch you later.